This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Welcome here to White Marsh, Prairie Hall, the swap, and the top seeded team in 4A, 3A, Prairie Hall against the 2021 4A, 3A champions, Mervo, in a rematch of last year's regional semifinal game here at Prairie Hall at the Gators. Kick the ball first, close court. We got an even match game here. The winner will play no points in defending 4A, 3A champions at Navy next week. Uh, well, I tell you what, this is going to be a good one right here. Brought down by number 18. No question about it, these two teams have met third time in a row in the postseason. Both tied briefly in the regional semifinals. First time in reseeding. This game would have happened last week if it was in the settings before 2021. Well, you expect here early from Prairie Hall. We got to do them against Memphis Mill. They kind of mixed it up a little bit. The weather was a little messier than it is tonight. Yeah, this is good football weather tonight. This fake run. The Mustangs get him. And it might be a yard gain of back. He actually ran it for his own man. But that was good pursuit by uh, Mervo. Indeed it is. Second down and nine coming up here for the Gators. Gators rode here. They beat Leonard Town here last week very convincingly. Mervo beat Suitland at home very convincingly last week to get this matchup here. The Mustangs have been road warriors over the years and the state semifinals is the closest they've been to home though in quite some time in the last six seasons. Throw here. Run to the outside. A nice game for Stone for Burrow. That was a good play. I like that play right there because he threw after threw the ball in the backfield. Yep. And it was space right there. Good block in that front too. To number nine, Dallas Conway. Dallas Conway. With that nice run there. All our semifinal games are here on Friday evening. So we won't know all the results from here, but we're going to bring them to you in our second half video coming up here. Who's going uh, to Navy next week? Perry Hall trying to get to the state semifinals for the first time since 1974. As that one to run up the middle. Gain of a couple. That's our stats tonight. Be thanks to our good friend from Baltimore Sports Life. At the Perry Hall 46. Early on, Murphy controlling the controlling the defense and offensive line. I see noticing. They are. They're not letting them run. Match up in the middle there. There's our good friend Willie Sean Coughlin from Baltimore Sports and Light. A lot of stats to are here tonight. Coming from him. Between these two. Second and eight coming up here. Conway to throw. Now he's gonna scramble. Man, what a hit. He able to get a couple yards there, Coach Yeah, he did. That was kind of dangerous too. Yeah, it was. Number three, Deshaun Conway, the ball carrier, brought down by number 31, Jabril McDonald. <coughs> and the Perry Hall 46 for no game. That was good defense by Mervo. He had nobody open. You know, the great thing is you get to practice on uh, Thanksgiving Day. And you know you practice on Thanksgiving Day, it means you got a game to play. Usually the following day or two days after. Two days after, yeah. And I know you got your eye to Frederick County Junior Knights. First time in the state semifinals since 05. Taking on Oakdale. Conway, short pass and complete. Bad pass, that was a bad pass. Fourth down in the front unit. Out here for the Gators. He kind of lucky that didn't get picked off. He yeah, was. We expect the sellout crowd here. This is really the only local game in the Baltimore metro region. Everybody else, the Baltimore teams in the city and county, had to travel to their respective uh, destinations for the state semifinals this week. What's up here? Yeah, we got a lot of folks here, and I know they all full for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so they really pumped up tonight. 
Indeed, and like I said, you can this great football weather it is. Fall weather is not, it's cold, but it's not extremely cold. It's no precipitation. Like you say, it's good football weather. It's great football weather here. Fourth down here and eight. Oh, all low, and that means this one's not as good. Got to get away from a Yamuro goal. It, it, good it took a down. very good Perry Hall bounce. Good Perry Hall bounce. That was almost disaster. Good recovery. So the Mustangs will get the ball for the first time. In 99, Manny Gomez's punt is down at the Murgo 19-yard line through the first and 10 for the Mustangs. First and 10 for the Mustangs here at their own 20. You know, it's our first Murrow game this year, Coach Clark. We got to see them, funny enough, against the other three state semifinalists right now in Baltimore City. How about that? How about that? And they kind of beat, or was in each game a different way. Run there on the edge. A nice game there. They almost had me fooled, Coach Clark. I thought Moore had the ball first. I did too. Who that quarterback was playing on? That's a gain of about seven there. Johnson on the carry. First down, number eight, CJ. Bobby Johnson, we got to see him run quite a bit in them three matchups in the regular season. And one thing about him, he can get downhill, he can get on the edge as well. Oh, yes, he can get on the edge. That's what I like about him, he can, he can really maneuver through the defensive line. No question. Second and three. Back to Johnson. This time up the middle. Uh, I think he got a first down. I think he got that first down, I agree. Yes, it is. Mervo in white tonight, Perry Hall in their yellow and white pants, Mervo in blue pants. Mervo carrier out to the 30, right there to get six on the play. First and 10 for Mervo. Trying to get back to the state finals for the second time in three seasons during 4A3. The margin of error here in 4A3 was very slim. All right, we got flags coming in everywhere. One came from the backfield, Coach Clark. Not sure here. There's a timeout. Timeout, Murbo. They're saying the clock was running down, and Murbo has been waved off. Timeout, Murbo. Mustangs use their first timeout of three. Well, the first half timeouts so always say not that important. Right. It's Friday. We'll be back. All right, first and 10 here from Herbo. Uh, like a three wide right receiver set? That's what it looks like. Fakes it, oh, Johnson gets it, cuts. Maybe gains about two and a half. That was good defense, gonna close that hole. And he definitely had a hole. When is Herbo gonna go to the end? Bobby Johnson gonna the carry for Herbo out to the Murrow 34, gain of three. That's a three-yard game. Second and seven here coming up. Well, apparently, Perry Hall don't think they're going to go to there because they got no safety back. Is that where you get them? We've seen Murrow do a little bit of both this season. Another team I would not. They kind of got their corners on the island out there. Well, they're coming with the heat. Went back to Johnson. He breaks. He almost broke the tackle, that is. And that's a game about two more. It's going to be Johnson third and about five. Down by number two, Noah Williams. And Maybe about third and four. Third and four. 37 yards. Third and four coming up here for Mervo. And 6 10 remaining here in the first quarter. Fakes it. More scrambles. He's gonna run. Do not get the first. 
he's not going to get it. He might have lost the yard. I have for 12. Carry brought down by number six, Tyler Green. They had a blitz coming up the middle, and nobody picked that blitz up. Oh, so both teams will. Uh, well, both teams got one first down the piece. Yep, and had to punt the ball away. Which we have here. 523 left here in the first quarter. Oh, that one bounces. He's going to run. He's not going to get it. He's still on his feet, not going to get it. And Perry Hall with a huge opportunity here in this one so far. Great field position. Two bad snaps in his, on both punters, but he couldn't get, he couldn't be grouped. Number five, Corey No, that, that one was worse than the other one on Perry Hall. That one went straight to the ground. And he couldn't recover. He couldn't even recover to do a uh, rugby like kick. Thirty-seven. So let's see if Perry Hall can take advantage of this here. Perry Hall. As again we've seen in last year's matchup, the margin of error really slim. Well, you know, all you gotta do is get in field goal position. You've been raving about that field goal kicker. We'll see. They went with the, uh, oh. They got Mervo fooled here, maybe not. They got him down. Not the line of scrimmage. I thought they had him fooled there for a second. But I didn't. The running back, I thought should have curved quicker. He went outside a little long, and that's what got him. The, the key to that whole thing, the Mervo defense, they stayed home on the outside. You know, we got when we did them against City and City's amazing passing game, and they was able to kind of corral the Knights and keep them contained. Last team to do that, the City. Rematch of the 3A final going on between Ligano and uh, Northern and uh, Calvert County. That should be an interesting game. Out in Frederick County. Black and Frederick County, a lot of teams in it. Oh, moving up front. That's going to move uh, Perry Hall up five. Off the play. Penalty is encroachment on the defense. And like I said, we, those top, we got to see the four teams in Baltimore City here. Two teams in Baltimore County. Memphis Mel's used to being playing around this time of year. Perry Hall. And they get used to it here this first year. Then. Again, next week here on DSN, we'll be with you with a state championship game from Navy. Second and five here for Prairie Hall. Conway rolls up, short pass, caught. And should be enough for a first down, I think. It's close. Deshaun Conway's pass complete to number four, Jake Boyd. Third and Brought down two. Number 33, two. Lindsey Tanker. Third and a deuce. At the four down territory. No doubt. No doubt. Three well. will bring up third and two for the Gator. Well, yeah, the field goal will be a long one here. You want to get maybe near that 25 to be in range. Big third and two. Fakes it is Conway. He might have got enough for that first. Actually, I'm sorry. He got it. Yep. I was right. Number three to Sean Conway. Technically. The carry brought up number 23, Antonio McIntosh. McIntosh with the stop for Mervo. The Mervo 26 yard line. Gain of three is enough for a Perry Hall Gators first down. Gators here chomping at the bit. Trying to score the first touchdown in this one. Goes short again. Nice tackle. Nowhere to go. Deshaun Conway's pass completed to number nine, Dallas He actually Conway. lost about three yards on this down by number six, Kenneth Fuller. One thing he said earlier, Coach Clark, and uh, we've seen it. Throughout the season with Mervo, they stay home. They stay and home. The Mervo 29 yard line. They got to really, we'll got to really kind of get them and block in some way to kind of open things up here. 
a very quick movie and, first and of all. one thing you don't want to do with Marvel is get behind the sticks. No, sir. You need to stay on schedule. Second and 13 here for the Mustangs. Excuse me, for the uh, Gators here. Mustangs on uh, defense. Conway escapes. Throws it up. And complete. What do you think, Coach Long? He should have had that. You got to help the quarterback out. That went right through his hands. Yeah. You got to help his quarterback out. Complete, intended for number six, Tyler Green. And that'll bring out third and 13 for the Gators. Third and long here for um, Craig Hall. Moving out here in White Marsh, here in the swamp. I would do the unexpected right now. I would run it. Marvel actually never put on the pass. If it's closer, you might be right close to run. Oh, caught it! But not enough for a first down. This isn't time here. Coach Patillo and company. Do you bring the field goal kicker out now? No. They will be about a 45 yard field goal. That's tough. They ain't losing yards earlier. This is brought down territory, like we mentioned earlier. If they didn't move back so much, maybe. Maybe. Craig Hall needs to get the ball. And. Craig Hall timeout looks like. No, Merbo. No, Merbo took their second of the half. And, and in this case, very smart timeout in this situation. Need to get the ball to the 18 yard line if you're Curry Hall. Uh, 51.5 seconds left. Right back to the game. Actually, a fourth down here for Curry Hall. The Gators need to get to the 18 yard line of Murrow to continue to drive here. Low snap. They're coming. Conway throws up as a flag. Intercepted. But it's a flag in the backfield. Dropping the pass. And if it's dropping the pass. Curry Hall will get new life here. Curry Hall will be looking like they're getting the first down. What is it? Oh, it's it's offsetting. It was holding. It was a hold against Curry Hall, and uh, that means Mervo gets the ball back. So, Curry Hall was not even taking advantage of the good field position. It was fourth down. I would have dropped that pass. I wouldn't have intercepted it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Sometimes you got to think. Well, you get, in, you get in the moment. You get a play. You want to yeah. get it off, you know. You always got to be aware of what's going on, though. 43.7 seconds left for Murbo as they get the ball deep in their own territory here inside the 20. I kind of figured it would be a defensive fight. I mean, last year's game was a 7-6 matchup. I think in the first to 14, might look good in this one. Moore up the middle. Actually, my apologies, that was Johnson in the middle to give from Moore. We got one more play made in the quarter. That was a nice game there. It was a game about five, five and a half. Number 11, Bobby Johnson. Might be six. Bobby Johnson. Right here, number six, Tyler Green. At the Mervo 21 yard line, gain of six will bring up second and four. Second and four. Johnson rumbles again. Piles his way up the middle. He might have got the first. We got it. In the quarter. The Mustangs have not attempted a pass in this game yet. Number 11, Bobby Johnson on the carry, brought down. They've been on the Johnson. Well, they did attempt well. one. He just said this. Lewis. The pressure made him roll out and keep it. That's so. true. That's true. After one here in this 3A, 4A semifinal game here in the NBA. This is Mervo and Perry Hall scoreless here yeah, from White Mall, second quarter. Coming back here on DSA. First quarter to a close with three quarters to play.
Second quarter about to get underway. Tomorrow's back. Coach Terry Clark here with you. And scoreless game so far in this 4A 3A semifinal game between Mervo and Ferry Hall. The winner sees the defending champion North Point next week at Navy. At no point played the first game today, dominating Blake on the road. Mortar, go back. Off the hands, and complaint. That's huge there. Yeah, that was out of that was the force pass. Again, you gotta help your quarterback out. Second and ten coming up here for the Mustang. Run around the edge. Whoa. Looking for it. Still on his feet. Got Curry there. Wait a minute. First half. They must have been looking at the Eagles the last time. I think that's the Eagles. Oh, I think you can get uh, well, a. You help. get pushed from behind. You can't grab the runner and, and throw the ball. That 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 the referee blew that. Low pass. Throw snap there, excuse me. More. A run that Lamar Jackson would uh, be proud of. Yeah, because nobody can do When you throw a pass rush, though, you got to still stay in your lane. That was a good save and tackle, though, I tell you that. Oh, it was. It was. Eleven minutes. Here left in the half. Johnson was able to make something out of nothing there, but a good, good tackle. Johnson on the carry, brought down by number ten, Daniel Moore. Lost a couple of yards on that play. Yeah, he lost two. Had the Could have been a lot worse. Or excuse me, the Perry yeah. Hall thirty-nine. Loss of two brings up second and twelve for Murray. That was good pursuit by Perry Hall, though. Yeah, right. Matter of fact, somebody missed a blocking assignment there. So you're Perry Hall, you gotta watch out. Put a big play. They're coming. Moore escapes again. Runs again. And now the marker for the first round. <laughs> Again, Coach Lord having a tough time of stopping him once he steps up from the initial pass run. Perry Hall, 30 yard line. It's a nine yard game. Third down and three to go. Third and three. That's why that that play on first down is huge now. Yeah. So that could have been a first down instead of now third and three. Flags everywhere, might be a false start against Murva. Well, excuse me, it is. And it is. is a false start of the offense. It's going to move the Mustangs back five and. Five yard penalty. So instead of third and three now, it's going to be third and eight. Down and eight to go for Murva. In a game like this, neither team can afford to shoot themselves in the foot. There's no safety help on those receivers. The heat again. Moore throws it short. It's incomplete. Good pressure. 
Okay, but I put it on. Yeah. Just go down territory from over. Four the down territory. Pass incomplete. Intended for number one, Tyshawn Cox. Result of the play will bring up fourth down and eight to go. Four I mean, you and four and no, eight here. You and no man land. I mean, punting the ball. At the next level, it'll have been a field goal try. Yeah. Watch number 10 for Craig Hall. We got a lot moving. Delay a game, Bob. Um, penalty is for a delay of game on Irvo. Now you may want to consider a penalty. Yeah, huge uh, that. Penalty <laughs> will bring up fourth down and 13 to go. So this went from fourth and three. Harry Hall's third and three to now fourth. And 13. 13, yeah. Not good news in Mervo here. But the way they play, they can get it. More been able to scramble out some stuff. We we'll have to do it once again. Coming with the noise. It's going to be coming back regardless. Moore will not get the first down. A second flag comes in late. Number 12, Raymond Moore on the carry. So we're either we doing this or Perry Hall is going to get the turnover on downs. Well, it could be offsetting penalties. That's what I'm thinking. We might be redoing this again. It was definitely a hold on this end. And then a flag came in late on the other end. Yeah. Got two holes on Merbo. So it's a turn on one down. That's what we thought. He said either turn on one down or offsetting penalties. Well, it wasn't going to be a Merbo first down. Kind of, kind of hard to have two holes in play for one first down. Boy, the so both teams are turning over on down so far here. 9.58 left here in the first half. We've got to score this game still. But again, we mentioned coming into this one, every possession's huge. Every possession. In this one, especially. First and 10 here for the Gators. to run straight up the middle and they gobbled him up. They gobbled him up like the turkey yesterday. No way to go. Most of control the trenches, I know that. Number four, Jacob Wagner on the carry brought down. Wagner, a lot of these seniors here. He did get a yard out of that. Got one. Four progress gave him one. Brings up second and nine for the game. Right now, I'm not impressed with Perry Hall passing game right now. They went with the rollout. Wide open first down. What we got here? Sean Conway's pass complete to number five. Against um, Perry Hall, that's coming back. That's how the referee was settling it. Penalty marker on the play. The penalty is a hold on the offense. That's the last thing Perry Hall needed there. Replay second down. And now it's going to be second in the Uber ride. Perry Hall. Yeah, and that was that best passing play. Yeah, he had a man wide open. I haven't had that too much. So. Really, I'm going to be honest. There was a holding on Merbo up here too. But they were holding one when the team was up. Eight forty nine left in the half. Snap. Conway. Nowhere to go. Turn longer now for the Gators. Number three, Deshaun Conway on the carry. Brought down at the Perry Hill twenty. 
Yeah, we're almost not letting Corey Hall come up to bat. We'll bring up third is not down, down ball. 20 for the Gator. Right now, it looks like Mervo controlling the trenches, though, on both ends of the ball. Eight minutes left here in the first half. You know, like they say in the pros, there's no play for third and long. No, it's not. Just got to do something. And dropped it in there. Bad part is, the Corey Hall guys are getting pushed back to the receiver, and he couldn't do much. That's right. Pun unit coming out for Corey Hall. Deshaun Conway's pass complete well, to number six, Tyler Green. Forced out. That's what you want. At the with the winner Perry trying Hall, to go for a state title. Excuse me, 22. Gain of two on the play will bring up fourth and 18 for the game. Marvel should get pretty good field position. Mustangs might get this ball in Perry Hall territory. Don't have this punt though. That's a better punt. That one. Right at midfield, right at the 50. Number 99, Manny Gomez's punt. So is that the 49 of Mervo? Mervo, 49. So it's literally on the other side of the 50. Great field position for Mervo. Well, it's good field position. Mervo is actually bigger on both sides of the ball than Perry Hall. And it looks like that's what's going to. They can actually wear Perry Hall down. First and ten ever Merlebo at their own 49. Out the pistol is more and it looked like Johnson is behind him. They're on first down. They're going for a pass. Every play. Oh, listen, man, they're coming. Yeah, he's like, look, boy, you're not taking off this time, boy. I'm gonna grab you until it's all life loose here. Second and long here for Mervo. They went with Johnson. In the backfield now with more. This is with Perry Hall, you know, the, the, the blitzing. And they, they couldn't, there was nobody in that backside. And one from them corners chasing them down might have been six. Going 10, they got him in the backfield at that time. Maybe gain the yard, maybe. Now I'm lucky lost the yard. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thought I got him in the back. Forward, Deshaun Thornton on the carry. Brought down by number 51, K.J. Lewis. At the Perry Hall. Al Miller Stadium here this evening. Loss of one will bring up second and 11 for the game. Mustangs trying to punch it in first. Here in the scoreless game. They come with the heat again. Coming out the middle. That's on Moore there. That's on Moore. He had a wide open. Yeah, I'm do that one. Somebody blew an assignment because he had them wide open. Justin Vaughn. The result of the play will be third down and 11 to go. Third and long here from Irvo. Fourth down territory, no doubt. Oh, 
Hope Nixon's trying to get his 104th win here at Murbo. Now win 100 in the opening round of the NPSSA playoff. Oh, Throws it up! Pass and a punch! And Murbo's gonna move up 15 yards. Defense it, was a, it was a hole up here. I don't know how the referee missed. It was an obvious hole on Marble. I don't know how they got how they missed that. Well, we, we're not justifying it, but we see hole calls. It's, it's tough sometimes. Yeah, but that was blatant. No, I'm, I'm looking down the field as well. See, it's good, see, it's good to have your eyes. Right the defender would have turned around, though. It would have been a very defended play there. No way to go. And it's going to. Too many negative plays for Murbo on first down, though, here on this drive. Yeah, but well they make up for it on the next play, though. Trying to do. Trying to kind of do. 425 left here in the first quarter. This quarter's moving so quick, we might get back home in time to see the Civil War between Oregon and Oregon State. Oh, yeah, and I forgot that game come on tonight. Final game between those two is conference rivals in the Pac-12. Shame what's happening out in the, in the West Coast there with that conference. Second down here, they're coming. Throws it. Oh, that should have been picked off. And complete, third down. That should have been caught. That too. <laughs> that to help the quarterback out. That one caught and picked off. The result of the play will be third down and 12 to go. Good and 12 for the Mustangs here. All right, tied at seven out in the Frederick County between City and Oakdale. All right, Odell was up early seven, so he struck back. Coming with it, they get more again. Now they go. Fourth down and 22 to go for Murbo. Don't count Murbo out. You don't, but this is a long ride here. Don't count him out. Murray Hall coming again with the noise. They're coming again. For this to be a no score game, Murbo actually dominating this game. That's what, that's how you Murbo, you should be a little worried. Trey Hall trying to strike one you good got time. Him. You got him. Conway! Waited too long and got picked off! Sack! And Murbo repays the paper. Back to back turnovers. 
don't see that too often. Yeah, not a little bit. Final timeout. Timeout. Perry Hall. Now Perry Hall uses their first of three. Well, 251 left. You know, a lot of apple turnovers going on. We're back. All right. But well, we see something that only I've seen at, at Orange Mills, the partner of Orange Mills. Three turnovers in the span of four plays. They're coming for more again. That's coming back. That's coming back. Holding in the backfield against Murbo. Yeah, that's coming back. They beat both teams that are beating them on, each, on themselves, really. And I'm like you, Murbo should be a little worried because they're actually dominating this game and not getting nothing out of them. They keep having stuff like that happen behind the sticks. 243 left in the half. Again, the winner sees the defending 4A3A champion, no point. Next week at Navy. So could it be the last two champions meeting each other? Could it be Perry Hall first time getting to the state finals since 1974? I know I wasn't thought of yet. What was you doing in 1974? I was in South Carolina in 1970. Oh, man. <laughs> I was well, living down there. There you go. Wrong with that. It's a five wide receiver set. Short pass. Caught there. They tried to get something with Cox, and not quite. That was I'm a good play by uh, yeah. Perry Hall. To number one, Tyshawn I might have got. Brought down by number six, Tyler Green, and number 51. They didn't get Murbo much anyway. And they got a yard out of it. Like I just said, didn't really get Murbo much anywhere. <laughs> 36 yards. So here, it's interesting to see what happened. 18 for Murbo. Murbo only has one timeout remaining. Perry Hall has two. Curry Hall does get the, no excuse me, Murbo gets the ball first in the second. Murbo won the cross and they confirmed. The heat again. We got flags everywhere now. What we got? Against Murbo again. Yeah, because Curry Hall rushing that line, they jumping. Steven Decatur up. 7 nothing against Memphis Mill. Oakdale up 15-6 over City. We're back with the end of the first half coming. All right, back to game action here. Final 35 seconds left. Don't need a, a, a wing and a prayer here on this one. They're coming for more. Again, he loses the football. He was able to jump on it. Time up by Perry Hall with 25.4 seconds left. For the fourth down, I guess they're going to punt. Oh, you got to punt the ball here. No way you go for it here. Got to punt the ball. 25.4 seconds left. We're back. We're in the first. We're back in the game action now here. Mervo will punt the ball here to Perry Hall. I, I, would, I would bless him right now. I would, do, I would bring the house. I think you're right. I think outside of the returner, they are. He got that one off. It's going to take a bounce. It took a Mervo bounce near the 20. And that's what it's going to be picked up at. And it actually ran some time now. Number nine. Right, so it doesn't really matter anyway. He's down. 
Perry Hall has a timeout left. Uh, Wouldn't be surprised to nail down. One and a half. First down for the Gator. With two Krispy Kreme donuts on the board and see what you do in the second half. For the first half, though, we, we expected a defensive game, and we've gotten that in Sunday. Got Got exactly what I thought was going to happen. Nail down. Halftime here in this 4A, 3A semifinal game. And it's scoreless between the Gators and the Mustangs. It's like a video coming back at you. No question, and we're happy for you coming up. This is Die Sporting Network.